The Wheel of Fortune is a game of life. There are no guarantees and it's up to you how you will play the game of your own fate. Welcome to Luna and the Druids. <laughs> there I am, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, and today, and today, um, we continue our fool's journey, our series about the fool visiting all the cards of the major arcana and the tarot. And today, the card number ten, the wheel, the wheel of fortune, fortune. The card goes by many names, but it goes by one meaning: changing, ever changing, always moving, and finding your destiny. That's what the wheel of fortune. Is all about. So let's uh, start with the topics of today. I'll bring on uh, this our slideshow. So the Wheel of Fortune today tells us about the nature of change, the cycle of fortune, the concept of faith and free will, adaptability, adaptability, and flexibility the interconnectedness of all things, and letting go of the illusion of control. Mm. Love that. Love that. Uh, before we start, let's let's just uh, let's uh, let's look at the cards. How um, how did they evolve over time? Uh, mm. I have, uh, as usual, I have some historical cards going back from uh, the seventeen mm, hundreds. Till early 2024, the Tarot de Marseille, a very simple, simple card, line drawings, but already with the animals on the wheel and they rotate, they go up and they go down again. And of course, the famous of all decks, the Rider weight, about 120 years old now. Um, with the same idea of animals on the cards, the Sphinx, the Anubis, and the Crocodile. Uh, Anub the Sphinx for good luck, the Crocodile for taking things backwards, and the Snake on the right side for going up again. Mm -hmm. A similar card, now without the name Wheel, this card is just called Fortune. With the same animals again, uh, Tostero, 1940s. And new in the Maria Tarot, also a card just called Fortune, not, not not mentioning the wheel. It's a wheel, and of course, in this card, you see the interconnectedness of this mm -hmm. wheel with other wheels. So it represents your own life and how it connects and how it is influenced by other lives. How about this? Four images you're presenting, the fourth one is I like the most because it shows this interconnectedness. Uh, well done for whoever uh, drew this card. Amazing. So on spot. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have some images as well here. Uh, I like to bring some different types of cards. And for example, here. Oh, within the Osho deck, this card is called Changed. Change. And you can see all the symbols here of the zodiacs as well, which yeah. uh, represent the wheel of year and the astrological cycle as well. And, and it shows that this nature of, of change and cycles in general. I love this image. Yeah, and um, I, love, I love the yin yang in the middle, which, which completes the whole picture. Yeah, yeah the balance. That's right. Another great card is uh, from the Star Tarot. It oh takes a while for my camera to grab a focus, yeah. but there it is. With all the animals, with uh, as well as archangels, all the symbols of zodiacs here. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful card. I absolutely love it. And I think my favorite out of all the Wheel of Fortunes is this one from the Morgan Greer Tarot, which shows the nature that sometimes we're up. If my camera, there we go. We have a we have a lovely couple, Queen and King, on top of the wheel. And there is somebody falling, and this hand of God here on hand of destiny turning the wheel around. Um, 
and, and we're going to talk about the meanings itself in a second. What, what does it mean? Um, but I absolutely love the different images we brought here. Yeah. Because they show a lot about the nature of a card itself and the, na the nature of change. Yeah. yeah, so the card makers really, really went <laughs> bananas when, cre when creating all these cards. They were really inspired by, by the wheel because the wheel, of course, it's, it's kind of the halfway point. In the in the in major arcana, the, the 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 ten, and then we go to the twenty, and left and right from the 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 one and the twenty, we have card number zero, the fool, and card number twenty one, the world. So we're halfway the major the majors now, and this is this is the the moment where everything changes. So that's what the what the fool is also learning, the nature of change, the mm. nature of change. So it, the change is inevitable. It happens all the time. That's what you learn. Just as the wheel turns, uh, your 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 life turns around. You understand and accept the the, the, the trans transient nature of existence. Yes, every, the only certain thing in life is change, um, and the wheel of fortune represents that cycleness of life of everything. Everything mm -hmm. has. Cycles. If if it's a living being, like ourselves, Mother Nature, even the weather, even the, uh, the seasons, everything is yeah. a cycle, and it changes. And then the wheel turns from the being up and down, up and down. Yeah. And then then you learn the Buddhist idea of impermanence. Mm -hmm. you know, this too shall pass. Nothing stays forever. Uh, even even the bad times. Uh, will change and also even the bad times can be good because the bad times are the moments we learn the moments we grow so yeah there's a lot there's a lot of lessons in the in the in the fortune card for yourself as well that there is a nature of change uh, and resistance is the worst response to change oh yes absolutely that's that's what you learned there mm. so next card or next topic is the cycle of fortune. Mm. So we already talked about this, the, the cyclical um, idea of, of fortune and success. Like the year of the wheel, the wheel of the year, in spring we go up, in summer we reach our pinnacle, and then slowly we move down till, till to the cold of winter and when everything's dead. To be reborn again and and the cycle of fortune is also happening in all our lives uh, it's of course there's people that we would call they're born with a golden spoon in their mouth and the others are born with a plastic spoon no or a wooden spoon uh, uh, but they all have their they all have their ups and downs in life we all have the roller coaster in life and uh, yeah that's what the fool learns there and it starts with our breath, our chest, when we take a breath in, goes up. And, and then when we breathe out, it goes down. So it ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. And we could talk about examples everywhere because if it's connected with Mother Nature, it will be like this. And sometimes we struggle. And we suffer because we live against those natural cycles. Like, for example, uh, winter time should be a period of rest where we go more within. When And in the modern society, November, December, it's actually one of the most crazy times in the year with the preparation for Christmas, going and shopping and doing everything to make this time, little spe make this time special. We forget the actual meaning of that time which is just to be yeah that's where we started luna when we talked about time between time so stop the time stop the clock for a while mm -hmm. and of course there'll be a day that it starts again of course that's <laughs> that's again the cycle of life and the changes but but taking the time out stopping the clock going within and uh, that's it and um yeah and of course the the the, the cycle of fortune also teaches the fool to be resilient. 
mm -hmm. in times of adversity and to be humble in times of fortune because oh, this too shall pass, you know? Good times pass and the other times are going away also. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. What I love about, especially on this card, is that center, the yin and yang you mentioned before. Yeah. And yeah. in every single card, we will see that things are moving around outside, but the inside is still. So the meaning of it is if we only will be able to sit still and observe things may may get a different meaning that that for example adversity won't be so terrifying anymore because knowing that this shall pass we know that like just like you said it's not going to be forever like this and it's so easy to get to lose yourself in that thought of oh my goodness it's so bad and it won't be better because this and that no everything happens for a reason oh <laughs> yeah you said it <laughs> next topic the concept of fate and free will mm. and we talked about it a lot the last days uh, we talked about destiny yes Mm. Fate. Fate is destiny. Mm. Um, I often joke that what messed up humanity is actually free will because we we can't we don't know how to deal with it we we don't know how to use it properly and wise. Uh, free will was given to us so we could make a choice. But at the end of the day, there are forces above us which make things happen so we could receive what we need to receive. And that's what Jan said. That's fate. That's destiny. That's, that's something which is meant for us. And it can be a positive thing or it can be a more challenging thing. Okay. But there is always learning in, in, in every situation if we're open to it, of course. Yeah, so fate tells us that we should sit back. We learn sometimes that there's fate and there's also um, the free will of taking action indeed and uh, and making choices that change your, your, your thing. Choices like turning you back to a, your back to a situation, totally mm -hmm. avoiding it or just taking appropriate action. There's, there's many choices you can make. Uh, yeah, and finding the wisdom, <laughs> that's the big thing. Finding the wisdom to to have to find the right action, the right cause mm -hmm. of action. Also finding motivation to do that within within ourselves. Because yeah, uh, yeah. sometimes we will struggle with something, uh, but it's only to make us stronger, not to make us weaker. At least it's in according to my beliefs. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So faith and free will are guiding us and helping us to, uh, yeah, to align us with our with our desires, um, with our, yeah, with our values, even in the face of the unknown. And then we come to to these the, the real choices: adaptability and flexibility. Mm. The card you used for that slide represents it fantastic. Uh, she is balancing on the wielder, so she can actually, she's flexible because she can, you can see her actually trying to get the balance and, and find herself on the wheel, which is moving. I really love this image. Yeah, it's great. Huh? And, and, and it talks about uh, the importance to be open to change and to the importance to be flexible and adaptable mm -hmm. and to adjust your sails when the wind changes <laughs> which she has she does as well you know when when the speed of the wheel changes her her movement and her her balance changes as well and it symbol symbolizes the importance of flexibility um, to re to achieve your goal and mm -hmm. to navigate the challenges of life yeah absolutely 
so yeah be flexible be adaptable and uh, yeah go go with the flow but go with the flow yeah. exactly yeah that's important very important part also and that's that's what you see in many of the wheel cards but also especially uh, the card i uh, you you like so much that i brought today the interconnectedness of all things mm. I'll, I'll bring it up again yes please i the love interconnectedness it. of all things where in this wheel uh, of course uh, you know we are the big wheel in our own lives but we're always influenced by by other things and on our and and uh, in our turn we also influence the others again so it's not a one-way street we are we are influencers and we are influenced oh yes so it is important to remember that yes our life is about us but our decisions our actions have impact on other people around us as well on the environment on everything energy wise as well so it is important to remember to not to be too selfish and look or look at those who are around us if yeah. we're doing good that's great but yeah. the question is our actions or uh, choices we make are always positive yeah and they're always and they're always part of uh they're always part of a greater, a, a greater thing, a cosmic pattern, you could say. Uh, so, so look beyond your Im immediate circumstances. We we see ourselves always, uh, often, just as the center of our universe. <laughs> and uh, I'm I totally, <laughs> I'm totally with with everybody that does so. But still, you are part of a greater whole. And always remember that. Always remember uh, every. Every action has its result. There's karma in life. You just took it out of my mouth because I was exactly mentioned karma as well. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's very important that karma is watching and what we what we give, what we give out, we receive. We receive. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have to we have to trust in the connectedness of the universe. And 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 like you said in this lovely card, you see it when uh, this this wheel on top starts moving. Uh, this wheel will move as well. You know there is, uh, and 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 so it's also how karma works. Sometimes something you do up here has an influence on the other side, and uh, uh, so it's things are connected. Things don't come back straight from where you send them. It can things you you do in 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 one place can have an uh, a butterfly effect in another place because things are connected things are interconnected mm -hmm. exactly exactly yeah. i love this card and the more we talk about it the more i'm falling in love with it because it shows the nature of of, of life yeah. Um, mm. yeah yeah what else do we have there Let, let's have a look mm. last point letting go of the illusion of control. Oh, that's boom. that's, <laughs> that's a big boom. It doesn't even require a comment because no. it's so deep. However, let's talk about it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Illusion well, of, of of having control. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and of course, <laughs> and we we okay. We cherish we cherish the illusion of control, and we uh, most of the times it it uh, things work. As they as they are intended, but <laughs> there are so many things happening in the world um, that we can't control. And even, for instance, you know, um, democracy is also the illusion of control. Mm, that's a great example. What, what does this one drop in the ocean uh, mean? Uh, and there's a, there's a big paradox there in the illusion of control of the, or the, the, the letting go of the illusion of control mm -hmm. because it can also disempower you. If you have the idea that your, your actions don't matter and let them go. And if, for instance, if we all do this and continue the way we work, we're going to uh, deplete our, our planet. For instance, there'll, there'll be no more, no more, 
raw materials uh, or there'll be no more gas and we have the we have no we have no control over climate change i recently um talked to a, a lumberjacker who was cutting trees um not on his own land so it was also a bit tricky and i just i think yeah okay what what can i do uh well let's just talk to the man and he says yeah but in china uh, they're polluting so much that this one tree I fell here doesn't make a difference. I have no control. And he has, so he had completely given up the illusion that he could change, that he could be the change. And so there's the big paradox. Um, we actually, as, a, as individuals, as a single individual, have no control over climate change. But as a collective, we do. And a collective consist of many of many small ones so the one drop in the ocean of course it doesn't really make make a big difference but if everybody always says i'm not going to make the difference nothing will change and we're mm -hmm. as a species will go downhill mm -hmm. so a bit of a paradox there but i think it's very interesting and uh uh the illusion of control is, of course, talking about finding freedom in the in the acceptance of the ebb and flow of mm -hmm. life. Yeah, and yeah. it only takes one person to change. And there is also, a, a, let's call it a law of change, that one person who starts it is the one who is paving the new path. And then if the next person joins that person, it's already two and it's easier then and it gets easier. And yeah. it actually, it was proven that if those two people will get another follower and it's going to get three of them, it can start a real wave and a real movement. So all it yeah. takes is just to change something within us or to change our actions. Yeah. And then we shouldn't be thinking for others as well in terms of all oh, my actions don't don't match don't don't uh, it won't change anything yeah. it actually will yeah that's funny you read my mind there <laughs> you were talking about it and i was saying okay one person is nothing two persons is already uh, something and three persons is a movement because <laughs> exactly, that's what a it movement. is I'm yeah so we 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 need to find the, it's all about finding the balance, like like uh, the lady on the on the card here. Uh, she has to let go of the illusion of control, but that's the outside illusion. But she has control over her own movements and over mm -hmm. her own ideas and over whatever uh, self she is um, she's realizing. So she's mm -hmm. in charge of her own life. So there's. The part, the part that you can control, and there's a part that you cannot control, and finding the wisdom to see the situation where you're in, is it something I can do, or something I better let go, turn my back to, never bother about anymore, or just learn to live with, yeah. yeah and what is going with a flow? It's not just you know releasing everything and saying okay uh the flow of life take me i have no control over it i have no decisions over it no it's allowing things to come and go that's it that's mm -hmm. it could you think of like real life examples when the wheel of fortune and the nature of that card could be helpful Yes, and in most cases, this would be uh, related to uh, taking action mm -hmm. and uh, actions that come with results and results uh, become favorable. And uh, yeah, the, one of my most well an important thing where the wheel of fortune really fell my way was when we were when we were looking for a house in ireland and we found a house which actually was overpriced <laughs> because it came with 
a farm, so a, a house, some land, and a bit of farmland. And then the, then we, we, we started manifesting it, we started dreaming about it, we started looking at it, saving the photographs of the of the property which was in a different country and then all of a sudden it seemed like everything changed first we thought okay the property is gone it was it was it was off off the market and it came back at a different price fortunately by saving it i i could see what what had happened and yeah, what had happened someone someone with a dream which completed our dream <laughs> <laughs> made the dream come true because this person had the idea oh i want i want that land i want that farm but i don't want the farmhouse i, I already have a house <laughs> so we decided to split the bill we took a little land and the farmhouse and the other fella took <laughs> took took the land and and it, and the rights there to graze his cattle and uh, mm-hmm. and we were both happy <laughs> yeah Amazing, amazing. Um, yeah. I absolutely and that's how the wheel turns by by creating your dreams and, and manifesting them and making them solid uh, and still keeping an open mind. It was still, we were still working on lists of properties that were viable. And yeah, all of a sudden said, the universe said, yeah, you have that one <laughs> because mm-hmm. I know someone that wants exactly what you don't want and vice versa. And let's bring you together. Yeah, and that's how the universe magically, magically works. And how the um, real world, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, relationships, like, it's very important to remember that if we have a good relationship, it's important to maintain it because it may not always be like this. Um, yeah. Finances, it's another great example of how the wheel of fortune works there. There are ups yeah. and downs. Even career change and, and, and changing and looking for a, for a new job, for example, or looking for a dream, dream job or creating your own business, uh, yeah. job. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and there you see, yeah, in your own business, you often see how fleeting it is. You have, you have times everything seems to go well and you have times that, Everything seems to fall apart, and <laughs> surviving these is the trick. Then, and uh, and and make and have the confidence that, that that the necessity to go on is honored. So, yeah. And that's what I love about the wheel of fortune, because it teaches us about the movement. It teaches us that nothing is stays the same, that everything changes. And nothing right. is permanent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And with that. That's it. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Um, And we're looking forward to see you again. Uh, Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment uh, if you wish to share something with us. We love those. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. And watch our next video. And uh, looking forward to our next live stream. Bye, all. Bye.